okay good day guys you welcome again to my channel and i appreciate every one of you for hanging around how that you you've been liking our videos you subscribe to our channel and you've helped us cross a 600 marks of subscriber on this channel thank you and um this is a whole lot of encouragement to always give you the best of contents on structural designs right so today i want to show us something simple and it is on how to create strip foundation using protest structure how to have your strip foundation using product structure what we commonly know about strip foundation is when we combine the strip footing with part footing so we all are used to strip and part footings right so but there is a way that we can support our structure using strip foundation totally and this is what we want to um show you today right so if you're new to my channel please use the like button and subscribe to this channel yeah so that you can always get our releases first and as soon as they drop right so this tutorial is a very very short one and um, but you need to pay attention right so there's a way we can support our structure using strip footing right so i talked about how to model analyze and um, design structures detail and all of that so you might want to check on all that on all other videos um to have details about that right so i'm not going to go through all of that so straight to our foundation floor our foundation story so i'll just show you what we need to do then we'll be cool we'll be good to go right so this is my foundation floor right now as you can see that i have my columns right on the foundation floor story oo right so the first thing you want to do and um that you have to know right like the minimum depth of a strip footing is 350 mm right so and that is what we're going to be applying as a rule in this um, video tutorial right so and um you also know that while you're excavating for your foundation your strip you excavate the same um, dimension of your block work in three places so that you can have enough room to place your block work itself right so uh, assuming you're having a two to five mm block wall to be positioned in a trench so you have to excavate um two to five in three places given six seven five mm um in total right so and that is what we are going to be applying in knowledge all together in today's tutorial right so just few steps and we are done so the first thing you want to do uh, with creating your strip footing is that we want to create a a tie beam and um, this tie beam will follow the two um rules i just gave right now that um, the minimum depth we'll be using for our strip footing of strip foundation will be 350 mm and the width will be six seven five that is two to five plus two to five plus two to five right so we have two to five in three places that is six seven five right so having done that you can just come here then you connect all this together then you have your typing right so having done this you can select all of these you select the first one you hold down your control key then select other beams for other spans <clears throat> pardon me thank you so having done this you can now right click so when you right click you see something like insert strip footing so clicking insert strip footing would pop up this that you're seeing right now so if you have a soil report you can check in for your subgrade reaction coefficient and this will help you um, with the value okay so the footing bar size because having a strip like i said what we are we are used to i don't know what part of country 
you're watching from but, but the common that um thing we know about strip footing is when we have together with part footing so we have strip and part footings where the strip will cut cater for the block work and the pad will help you transfer the loads on the column right but um in the case of this strip footing that we have in, entirely for our uh, foundation it's going to be the one that will support the entire framework for the foundation right so that is why we're having reinforcement here so we're having um the local actions of your columns and of your walls being um taken care of duly right okay so the lhs left hand side cantilever we would want to use 450 the right hand side cantilever we want to use 450 and um, the footing width like i said 675 the 225 diameter in three places and the depth like i told you is um we'll be using 350 right 350 mm total now we don't have footing taper height right so would not um we'll just leave the value as zero mm and um the footing eccentricity there is no um eccentricity with our footing so we'll just um leave that at zero then when, once you're done with that you can just um design right so designing it now would give you this that you're seeing so you see how that the shear force reaction and the bending moment reaction um is showing so and you have the strip parameters and the loadings from your column so you can see all of that um there so so we have this okay now we are done with the design of of this so you can press okay so after that we'll now move to the design of our foundation beams right so designing for foundation beams you can see that the design is not done yet right so we can now run our design so clicking on this beam now let's see so it will run a quick design of that particular strip footing right so now all the reinforcement are being placed so we are done with that okay now it has passed then we can exit this place now we can now check how it's going to look like by going to drawings and reports i'm working on product structure 2021 so and that is why my interface is like this right so but then you can still have such like that on your um, version of product structure um whatever it is that you're using okay so foundation beams elevation let's see because it will regard it as a foundation beam since it's the one supporting whatever loads coming on your foundation so you see how it is now so the strip is being formed with where your column is now that we we are done with that you can apply the same thing all to your your grids where your columns and your walls are to be supported right so that is how exactly to obtain your strip foundation using proto structure if you have any questions um, regarding this you can use the comment section and i'll be there to give you all that you need in case you've not subscribed to this channel i encourage you to do that so that you'll be encouraging us that's a lot of encouragement for us to go ahead to give you all the best that you need to get better like this video share with your colleague as we get better thank you we'll meet in the next video bye